Hey everyone, hope you're hanging in there with online learning and quarantine life. In this video, I just want to talk briefly about the extra credit assignment. I told you in a couple videos prior to this one that I designed this course to be really simulation intensive towards the second half of the semester. However, now with the coronavirus pandemic and crisis, we're not going to be able to do those simulations. So instead of requiring that you do the work that went along with the simulations, I've made them extra credit opportunities. So this week and next week, you haven't had to do any reading responses. Your first extra credit assignment is due next Tuesday on May 7th. And although it says that it's worth zero points right here, it's actually worth 5% of your overall grade. That means that if you do the extra credit and you have an 85% in the class, I'll bump your grade to a 90% at the end of the semester. So in addition to the extra credit on the World Trade Organization and the Mali um, United States cotton case, there's also an extra credit assignment due May 21st, and this is on the coronavirus. For this extra credit assignment, you're going to write a short policy memo what the United States government should have done to respond to the coronavirus back in January before we knew that there were any confirmed cases of coronavirus in the U.S. Let's talk about the World Trade Organization uh, extra credit assignment, though. Even though the instructions are at the end of the module, I recommend that you check out the instructions before you click through all of the content here. In addition to that, um, the content that I have provided for you here in the module, you don't need to read every single word found in, in each of these documents. These are just resources for you to draw upon, for you to utilize in writing your position papers for the extra credit assignment. Um, however, I do recommend that you really focus on this article right here, the impact of U.S. subsidies on West African cotton production. So in class, I, I had planned to go over why cotton prices declined so significantly in the early 2000s and how that affected worldwide prices of cotton and then subsequently how that affected the incomes and the livelihood of West Africans. And then from there you were going to choose an actor to play in the case. So some of you guys were going to play the Malian government or you're going to play the George W. Bush administration, you were going to represent the WTO, and before coming to class, you were going to write a position paper, and then you were actually going to come to class in character pretending to be George W. Bush or a Molly and Cotton Farmer, whatever actor you chose to play in the court case simulation. So we're not actually going to be able to do the simulation, obviously, but I figured I would still give you the opportunity to write your position paper. Okay, so in your position paper, you're going to have to select one of these actors to play from this list, and then you are going to write 500 words on your perspective in the dispute. So um, if you play the George W. Bush administration, you want your paper, you're going to write in the first person, so you're going to pretend to be George W. Bush or a representative from his administration. And, you know, you might even want to put a White House logo on your position paper. You want your paper to be very professional, very concise. If you are a Molly and Cotton Farmer, on the other hand, though, you probably don't have a formal education. You probably aren't even literate, so I don't know how you would write a position paper, but we'll just for, forget that part. Um, but you would write about how this has affected your everyday life. You know, maybe you weren't able to buy malaria medication for your daughter because you lost income. Um, you normally sell cotton on the markets and generate revenue from that, but cotton isn't worth as much as it used to be because of the fact that the United States has flooded the international markets with too much cotton. Okay, so that's what your position paper is. You're just, you're just going to talk about, you know, what the United States should do 
to reconcile with these West African countries. Um, if you are the United States government, right, you might argue that we didn't really do anything wrong. If you are an American cotton farmer and you benefited from these subsidies, you may argue that, again, the United States government didn't do anything wrong. Just make sure all you try to answer all of these questions that are here in italics, okay? Um, once you read the content in this module, you're going to have a much better idea of like what exactly happened. But if you have questions about subsidies, if you have questions about like how this all works, or if you have questions about West Africa, let me know and we can set up a Zoom session, a Zoom meeting, and I'm happy to help you. Some of this may require some technical knowledge, again, of like international trade, uh, lingo, all that good stuff. So just feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help you in any way that I can. Okay, so let me know if you guys have any questions.